for one, am grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. Father, do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they live like animals, but they're happier now. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon, we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. The Johns family have made a lot of money. And he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other, and who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. Welcome to my channel. What's going on guys? My name is Paralytes and today I thought I'd do sort of like a let's play kind of deal. Um, I didn't know if I wanted to do this or Skyrim but I thought this was a more suiting thing to play. It's one of my top favorite games uh, along with Skyrim so just thinking that this would be better. Oh! What a drunken fool. Let's see what's what's going on. Mr. Marfin! Mr. over here! You must be John Marston. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Follow Jake to the horses. All right. Oh, see, there's that drunk guy again. Mighty fine evening to you. Well, here, uh, let's mount up and hit the trail. Okay. All right. Let's ride this beautiful horse. Oh, shit. No need to kick off a lot of dust. 
Let's go. You're gonna get a I think he's done talking. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Thieves Landing. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> I've played this game so many times before. Uh, it's definitely been a while since I've last played it. Yeah, so it was the marshal who hired me. Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. So I never know when this guy stops talking. Talkative, are you? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, <laughs> mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not knowing. Damn coyotes. What a waste of good meat. Not far now. You'll see the fort when you get to the top of this hill. Listen, mister, this here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> hmm, all right. Approach Fort Mercer. Okay, I think I'd, I think I could do that. Let's try. Come on. Bill! Bill, I've come for you! Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Go away now, John. <laughs> Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. 
You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you! Implores. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well... Poor John. Wow. The hell? Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr... Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss Bonnie McFarland. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? Trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance, for old times' sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him, long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, Miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna. Take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time... Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Well, well, well. Gotta go join Bonnie. Gotta go to the blue blimp on the map. Um, I've played this game several times before. It's definitely been, it's definitely been a few years, I would say, that I've played full, full on gameplay. But you know, I've always loved this game, and I thought it was a, like a lot of fun. So I thought I would, you know, play it for you guys. If you don't like it, then then we could do something different. Mr. Marston, back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that fifteen dollars. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. But yeah, if you guys like this, you know, let me know. Or if not, you know, I'll probably still do it. There's the foreman's office.
It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws, such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. I picked out a fine horse for you. I'll show you around the property. Ah, yes. The good old black horse. I never know when they're gonna talk. To your right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. Awesome. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. <laughs> Like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. Hmm. I like that. Yeah. Change only makes change is only good when it makes things better. That's the barn over there. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaint from me, Miss McFarland. Easy. Whoa, whoa. Press X near a hitching post to save your horse. Okay. What are you waiting for? Come on. Clearly it's been a while. Drink, Mr. Marston. Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. We'd best get moving. This is a dangerous time of night for us. Oops. Gotta grab my horse. He's walking. Okay. It's so beautiful. I love horses, like in real life. Right. I think Follow they're me. beautiful. I think they're beautiful and majestic. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. Hmm. Is there anything around? Look, those damn rabbits are at the crops again. Get down and give me a hand, will you? Oh. Come on then. Time to put that bloodlust of yours to good use. We got one. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh shit. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I love using the rifle in this game. So powerful. Shoot. Much obliged, Mr. 
Okay, I think we're good. Them rabbits can be wily little critters. Let's get back on the horses and see what else is going on. Climb over the fence. Mount my horse. Oh. I always feel bad when I have to kill animals in games sometimes. Makes me a little sad. Well. That was not supposed to happen. If it's not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city. Become a lady of leisure. Look out! Kaya! Shoot him before they get to the animals! Oh shit, the chickens! Gotta go, gotta save the chickens! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Let's go! That coyote won't And that is that! There we go. Come on! Damn! I forgot how hard the controls could be sometimes. You know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience <laughs> in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. Am I going home? I think so. Here we are. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarland. Wow. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. I'm sorry if there was... If there wasn't very much talking, there was a lot of, you know, cutscenes and whatnot, and... Other episodes will definitely be better. Uh, but I'm gonna save the game and continue on from here. So, until next time... Later!